Appendix surgery last November forced Rafael Nadal's premature departure from the 2014 ATP World Tour, but it's given him time to prepare for 2015. I'm happy to be back on tour again. I'm feeling well. Trying my best in every practice, practicing with the right attitude, doing the right things. And Nadal has been missed. Rafa is immense. Rafa is a sporting icon, the like of which we will never see again, I don't think. We expect him being again the real Rafa in the next two years, because they, they are very important for him. He's a big icon for the sport, not only for the Spanish uh, people, not only because the way he plays, but what he shows on the court, the energy that he transmits to the fans. The one thing that Rafa brings above all is a real excitement. Whenever he goes out on the court, so the fans go wild. He's a player everyone wants to see play, and it's great to have him back. The man from Mallorca has come a long way from those early days as a young pro back in 2001. At first, the left-hander struggled against two players in particular. I lost a few times against Blake, against Nalbandian. It was tough for me to play against both players, but there's a lot of ones that, I, that he produced me a big challenge, but uh, still at the beginning was very difficult to play against these two. Rafa has long since mastered the art of overcoming adversity, but even by his incredible standards, 2013 stands out. Probably was the most emotional year of my career. I think it's the most difficult year that I, I had in my career and having that unbelievable success. So it's probably the year that I'm more proud of my career. Now 2015 promises another big season for the 64-time ATP World Tour title winner. Last year he wanted to win the Australian Open. So this year with more reason even wants to win in Melbourne because it's the only slam that he hasn't won twice, at least. His popularity is worldwide and the game wants him playing for as long as possible. But right now his focus is on the hard courts as Nadal heads to Melbourne for the first Grand Slam of the year. The period of time that everybody needs to, to adapt, the body, the tennis and the, the movements, so all what you need to, to have success and to be 100% competitive again is, is there. So I'm going to need that period of time anyway, but I'm trying to make it the shorter time possible. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, it's all eyes on Australia as the first major of the year gets underway. And here come the young guns, we profile the players poised to break through in 2015. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.